What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to a glorious fall day here. Man, I am so excited about everything that we've got going on that's in the pipeline for the rest of 2022. Today, I'm gonna get you guys a long overdue update about the new business that I've been building behind the scenes. There's so much to cover that I'm not gonna go into because honestly, it would just bore you. It's all this bureaucracy and all these other things, but I'm gonna give you guys a few indications as to why all of my ambitions have kind of somewhat been slowed down. We're gonna get into that in just a little bit, but guys, before we do that, you see all this stuff on the ground? That's foliage, that's leaves. The seasons are changing up here in Pennsylvania, and I, unfortunately, am gonna have to somewhat change the setup on my Denali. We've got these absolutely sick JTX Forge polished 24 by 14s on the truck that look fantastic with it. I know the controversial semi-stretched tires thing is somewhat hit or miss for some of you, but the Giovannas have been nice. I like them, I don't mind them. They're quiet, they get good traction in pretty much all conditions. I don't know about snow, but anyway, we've got these amazing custom cut enthusiast center caps, but they're gonna have to come off before we go any further. The wheel wall over here is looking quite promising. We quite literally have the set that's gonna go on the truck, the set that was on the truck, and then the set that was on the High Country, AK Dream Diesel Giveaway 27. Speaking of that, all the entries are over in the hands of Compliance Sweepstakes Services, and we're oh so eager, but patiently waiting for word on who's gonna be taking that truck home, and if you're gonna be that individual. For those of you guys that aren't aware, we're anticipating word back with a winner between the 6th and the 13th of October, so hang tight, we're not quite there yet, but we're readily approaching what could be a life-changing event for you. Now I'm rolling out new kicks for the Denali. We've got a set of stock Stock Denali 20s with 35, 12 and a half, 20 inch ridge grapplers that we're gonna be rolling around on in the time being. I'm really not much of a quote winner setup type of guy, but I have a lot of travel that's gonna be coming up over the next few months, which requires me taking my truck to the airport. And I don't wanna show up to the airport in general parking with really nice wheels and tires. Although these are very nice. It's just maybe they're a little bit more low key. And that's a solid vibe, I'm not gonna lie. I personally love ridge grapplers. I ask Nitto all the time. It seems like I've tried to beg Nitto to come out with more tire options, but they really just don't ever do it because their bread and butter is basically that tire right there. The 35, 12 and a half, 20, or 35, 12 and a half, 18, really is what makes them their money. And they're not all that interested in getting into these custom sizes, although it would be amazing if Nitto offered a 33 and a 35, 14 and a half, for let's just say a 24. All right, boys and girls, now we got the winner look looking rad. We're basically gonna stick this out until the new year, maybe just throughout the winter, basically because I'm doing a ton of travel. And as I had mentioned before we switched the wheels, I really don't want to park up at public areas with super nice wheels. They're a little bit too flashy. And truthfully, I just don't trust it. And I feel uncomfortable leaving the truck behind. So I wanted it to blend in a little bit more, although it still looks damn good if I do say so myself. Drop a comment below. Are you guys a big fan of the stock wheels on bigger ridge grapplers or mud terrains? I think it's a pretty solid look, especially going into the winter time. Now I had to get that knocked out ahead of time because I wanted to explain why we were switching away from the wheels. But today's this video is not about wheels, ladies and gentlemen. It's rather something way bigger than that. A lot of things have been rolling and in motion behind the scenes. As I mentioned in the last update, I'm putting a ton of sweat equity in building a new business behind the scenes. And it will be a new chapter, but it's not gonna be the next chapter because Enthusiast is still gonna continue to run the fences as it does. If anything, this new chapter is actually going to enable Enthusiast to do what it does better, but it's also going to help a lot of local Lancaster enthusiasts as I know that there's a lot of us in the area. Today, I'm gonna be revealing to you guys the new location of this business as well as a ton of other details that really truly solidify the absolutely epic entourage of enthusiasts that we have in this area. I'm so freaking excited because it's a way different style of business than enthusiast is, but it's still so related in so many different ways. I think without further ado, it's time that we debut the new location. What do you guys say? Are we ready? Buckle up boys and girls and check out the new building. Ladies 
and gentlemen, this is a big day. That right there behind me is the new stage, the new location, the new facade, the new canvas for all these exciting things that are about to go down. And I'm so unbelievably excited. I've been holding this massive secret for so long and I really hate holding out on you guys, but there's so many things that I had to cover as far as my bases before I came out and actually revealed what it is that we had planned. Why I say we, boys and girls? Because inside this building, it is going to become an automotive enthusiast enthusiast mecca for the Lancaster County and surrounding county areas because it is going to be a one-stop shop in so many different ways for the enthusiast. An enthusiast is actually not going to be in this building, although I will have an office in this building. It is rather going to be something else and something comes in phases and I have to get into where we're going with my business specifically. But what I'd also like to say is look at the new facade for Accelerate Auto located at 1275 Loop Road in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Welcome to 1275 Loop Road in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the new facade for Accelerate Auto. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta welcome Jake and Josh back from Colorado. So welcome into the customer reception area. This is a new look for Accelerate and it looks damn good on them. The guys spent all last weekend, literally sun up to sundown, plus more on the front and the back, setting this place up and they've got it mostly configured. This building actually just underwent a ton of renovation. There was like walls there and this was brick and this was just absolutely nasty looking. It has come such a long way and it's this area that I had been spending a lot of my time as well, making sure that all these things were kind of somewhat coming together. And then that brings us to some of those juicy shots that Jake just got of what's behind these doors right here. So boys and girls, welcome to the area that is employees only. You're coming with me today because yes, I actually do have some interest in this building, but no, it is not Accelerate Auto. No, I don't own any part of Accelerate Auto. Rather, this is just the Lancaster entourage coming together and joining forces, if you will. I've known Brody for a very long time. I quite literally have taken him under my wing. He is my boy and I am so freaking proud of everything that he's been able to accomplish. We've become great friends over the years and I've quite literally watched him take his passion for all of this stuff here behind me into now this space. So you guys are looking at an 18,000 square foot building that I'm going to be operating out of a part of, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. So bay number one is going to be window film. This right here is the tinting station. It's so sick. They've actually got a brand new BMW here getting exactly that done under these sick hexagon lights. So they've got one, two, three, four of them, and another one's gonna be going up right here. It's just they pretty much bought them out of all the ones that were in stock. So right here are actually two bays. The other hexagon light is going to signify that bay, but right here where the Shelby is, is going to be window tint as well. So window tint, window tint, and then here's where all vehicle wraps and color changes are going to take place. Right here is where all expel and all paint protection film is going to go down and then over here is where all paint correction and specific precision detailing will be taking place. This place is absolutely huge and it is so sick. It's so exciting. All of the work of this building and the discussions of this specific footprint have been in the works for months on end. Talk about keeping a secret that I just wanted to tell you guys about in the worst way, but I couldn't say anything at all. And now you might be asking yourself, Jack, okay, so you're saying we, but Accelerate is them. So where do you play in part? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I play in part back there and no, not Rhino Linings. Behind that wall, yes, is Rhino Linings, which is another thing that Accelerate now offers, but there's also going to be other things that take place behind that closed door that I can't tell you guys yet, unfortunately. As of lately, my life has been back and forth through email discussions, red tape, and bureaucracy. I have been spending so much time jumping through hoops and trying to slice through red tape as I get everything approved by the township 
within the city to do what it is that I'm going to do. So we're essentially going to be colliding tides between Accelerate Auto and this new thing that I'm working on. It's a direct extension of everything that I am enthusiast and that you guys have gotten to know of the brand and the business that I've built through the apparel that it is that you guys wear all the time with pride and I'm so grateful for. It's just that with enthusiast, I never really had the ability to actually touch customers one-on-one. -on -one. We get to build relationships with you guys through the internet all day, every day, and that is such a beautiful thing. But I really wanted to also get involved at the local level. Well, A, because I love Lancaster. B, because we are the best place to live if you're an automotive enthusiast. And C, it's because I got this awesome entourage of people and the people that make the community possible with the automotive enthusiast population in the area as is. Now, the bummer in all this news is I wanted to have those services ready to rock and roll by the time that this video is being made. But unfortunately, I've got some news. Number one is the equipment that I ordered, which is the best in the business. Unfortunately, is somewhat backordered. It just seems like a theme over the last few years. And no, I'm not a part of Procrastination Nation. I did get those orders in on time. It's just that it's very specific, very specialized things that will make what we do the absolute best, but it's gonna take a little bit more time to get it. So originally I was thinking end of September, but that's already passed. Then I said middle of October, but then I had to do some stuff with Lancaster City. Then I thought end of October, but then I got an update on some of this equipment that's not gonna be here until the end of November. <sighs> So as of right now, we will not be opening the doors for the public until at least the end of November, but I'm saying right now it could even go into the new year because we don't want to rush a very good thing. But if anything, that good thing is going to be happening right here behind me. Ah, uh, it's absolutely killing me to not be able to tell you guys any additional information, but unfortunately, that's just where I'm gonna have to leave you guys with this update. If you guys are absolutely excited about Accelerate Auto and this new building of 1275 Loop Road, then you have to smash that thumbs up button. This right here is people making moves, and if you're inspired by any of this and you wanna do something in your life, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest disconnection between your reality changing is not taking action on those thoughts that you're having. And do stay tuned for all the other updates that are gonna come with this space as it gets more and more complete over time. Like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys in at ground level so y'all could see it at its very beginning stages. Ah, start a business, they said. It'll be easy, they said. And honestly, no successful person legitimately ever said that that started anything from ground zero. But honestly, that's what it takes to be an entrepreneur. And I know a lot of you guys are self-employed in the audience. I know a lot of you guys want to be at some point. Don't ever give up on those dreams and objectives, ladies and gentlemen, because the only ones that will build it are the ones that you see in the mirror every single day. And that's where we're going to wrap up this video, ladies and gentlemen. There is so much opportunity right here, right on the horizon. The new Accelerate Auto building is amazing, and it's going to be joined by what is my baby, my project, the thing that's in the works a little bit later this year, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated along the way, but you'll definitely see us making more frequent visits down here now that you know where we're going to be. So stay tuned for the winner announcement of Dream Diesel Giveaway 27 and Dream Diesel Giveaway 28 is going to be launching the second week of October. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Tap that thumbs up. We'll see y'all in the next upload.